Hello, this video is going to walk you through the basics of creating and using Google Docs. Now, Google Docs is just one of the five elements that we're going to talk about um, in using Google Drive. So the first thing you want to do to access your Google Drive is go to google.com and when you go there, you're going to be able to tell if you're already logged into your Google account or not. Um, I am because you can see that it shows that I could click here to get my Gmail and, and it shows my picture here. Um, if you're not, it'll just give you the option to sign in up here. You just click on that and then enter your information. Once you're signed into Google, what you're going to want to do is go to the waffle and then you're going to find Google Drive. As that loads, you're going to be able to see all of the documents and files that you have uploaded to your Google Drive. Now, if you're new to Google and you don't have that many, that's okay, because by the time you're through learning um, about all of these different Google tools, yours, yours will fill up really fast because you'll start wanting to use it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create our Google Doc. So to create something new, you're just going to click on this red new button. And when I do, you're going to see all of the different kinds of files you can make for this particular video. We're going to focus on Google Docs. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice that a blank document pops up that looks very similar to um, a document um, creation program that you may have used before like Word or Pages. So the first thing I'm going to suggest that you do with every Google tool that you use would be to name your file. Um, and so I'm gonna name ours what we love about Google. And then watch what happens when I click off of that, you're gonna notice I'm getting the saving message here. Then all changes are saved in Drive. What is fantastic about Google Drive is that it automatically saves all of your edits. So it's virtually impossible to lose your work in Google. And if the first thing you do is name it, like I suggested, it's gonna be really easy if for some reason you would get kicked off the internet or just get kicked out of off your computer for whatever reason to be able to find it when you go back in. So if, again, first thing you should do is is name your document and then again it'll start saving your changes. Now you're going to notice that you have the same um, menu functions here as you do in other document builders. Um, you also have the ability to change fonts, font sizes, styles here, colors, um, justifications, even you have the ability to add um, bullets and numbering. So what we're going to do here is where I'm going to create this doc, this Google doc, um, by myself. Now it is possible to build and create a Google doc with collaborators. And I am gonna show you in just a bit how to have other people jump in. Um, but right now I'm gonna start by myself. I will tell you that if other folks are in your Google doc, if there's gonna be a little identification um, box pop up here that tells you who's working in there with you. So it's not like you don't know um, that someone's in there, but right now I've created this. No one else has any rights to it. You can see that my share button indicates that it's locked and we're gonna leave it that way for just a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start building a little um, Google Doc here that I'm gonna ask some other people to generate some information on. So again, um, I'm gonna add a little question here. a question here oops and then I will tell you you can also in addition to putting in um, text you can also put in images so you can go here to insert image and when you do you can upload different things in by just dragging if you have pictures saved on your desktop which is what I'm going to do you can drag and drop it in you can search your Google Drive for images you can even just search, do a search for a particular image and look for a Google image right here so I'm just going to go ahead and go to upload since I already have that and I am going to drag this into my Google Drive and you'll see that it's uploading and it put it right in my doc for me. So I can resize that just as I would. I can do the whole wrap text thing and put it in just as I could in Word or Pages. And 
Then, in addition to adding text in, you can also insert tables. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We'll insert a table with three different um, columns in it and several rows. And I'm going to go ahead and start populating this table. We'll ask for the person, whoever's filling this out, to put their name in. We'll ask them their favorite Google element and why you love it. Let's see why do you love it? And then if you get in here and you decide you want to adjust the size here of your font, you can do that just like you could, again, in any other um, kind of document builder. You can change color, those kinds of things. So now I let's say I have this done the way I want it to be done here. And again, it's, it's just like any other document builder. So you can put anything in it basically that you could. Did you notice how every time I make a change, it's it's updating it. So if I type something, it updates it. I take it away, it updates it. You don't have to manually save anything. And that's what is fantastic about um, the Google Drive program. All right, so right now, I want to be able to have other people help contribute to this document. I want to do like a collaborative note-taking um, thing, if you will, here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to share when you click that button, what you can do is invite people to um, own this Google Doc as well. So I would enter the person's email address here and I said that they could edit it. And what that would do is when they accept, it's gonna throw that into their Google Drive um, in their shared with me folder because I would have shared that with them that way. You'll want to do that if it's going to be a document that you're gonna keep going back to and working on collaboratively, if it's like an ongoing situation. But if you're just trying to collect information kind of for a one and done kind of thing, um, a more simple way to do that is to click on this little link. And you'll notice it says, you get a shareable link here, and it says anyone with the link can view. What that means is if I send this link out, anyone who has it can click on it and see what I'm doing here. Now remember, I wanted this for collaborative note taking, so just viewing it isn't going to be good enough. So I'm gonna go into my other options here, and I'm going to select anyone with the link can edit, because I want people to be able to contribute to this document, not just view it. So that's what I'm going to, to select. Notice, there's also an option for anyone with the link can comment, and that's a wonderful feature too, especially if you're just trying to get feedback, you don't really want other people manipulating your work, you're just trying to get feedback, you can send them that and they can actually post a comment right within the doc that identifies who they are and, um, and what their thoughts are on that. So that's also a good option. Again, but for this, we're gonna select anyone with the link can edit. We're gonna just go ahead and simply copy that link and shoot it to someone in an email. So I'm gonna send that out. And I'm gonna say that I am done here. And then in just a few seconds, we're going to see that someone is going to join our document here. And so they just received an email that said they can join our document. So they're going to do that and go in. And then you can see I have an indicator that someone else is in here now. This particular user that I'm, I'm kind of simulating with um, does not have their account set up with their name in there to identify them and um, their, fo their photo or whatever. But depending on how you have your Google set up, like if mine goes out to someone, they can see who I am and everything in there. So it says that um, it pops up some silly little anonymous animal here. But um, it at least shows me somebody's in there. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start adding information here for my person. And you can see that you can see who's typing on here. And Zoe is adding information. We're gonna say her favorite Google element is Google Docs. And there's her input there. And I can see real time what she is typing. Again, if I go in and start adding at the same time, we can both be doing this at the same time. So if I shot that link out to 20 people and 20 people start replying to it, 
um, everybody can see what's going on and putting names in that way. So that is something that makes Google um, special. It makes it unique. Um, it makes it better than perhaps using Word. If there's a way you want to work collaboratively, it's really, really hard. Think about that. If you're using a Word document and you um, create something and you want people to add to it and then they have to email it back to you, well, if you've done that with several people, then you have to wait for that to happen. Again, this is all real time and you can see when folks are in here and you can have that real time edit. In addition, let's say you make something that you're gonna send out to a lot of different people or you want to get out to the information out like broadly, like through social media. If you want to share the link that way, you can do that and you can just tweet out that link and anybody who clicks on it can view it. Um, and what's even better about that is if you have to make any changes to it, then you can make those changes automatically. They'll save and you don't have to resend it out. Um, if there was a mistake in it or a change, you don't have to resend it out as a correction. You can just make your edits and people can, it'll be real time edited as soon as they go back in and look at it. So that's the way Google Docs works, which, which is pretty fabulous. So now if here I'm in my doc, it says all of my changes are saved, even the changes that Zoe made. If I go ahead and X out of that and I go back into my drive here, um, we're gonna go back in to what we love about Google. We're gonna go ahead and find that document here. And I'm gonna go just go through my files here. What we love, I'll be able to find it in here. It's right there. You'll notice these two little heads here. That means I've given access to that document to other people um, so that you, the other people have access. That reminds me in my drive that we can do that. I did scroll through all my files to search for that, but what I could also do is just search this with the first word and I can find it. It'll pop up in there. Um, so it's it's great, quick way to create, store, manage, and share documents with um, other people. So I hope that you will give Google a shot. I hope that you will use Google Docs and see if that's something that can enhance your workflow for you as a teacher, but also with you for you with your students.